One of the most exciting new features in version 13 is graphical stringing or 3D stringing. To demonstrate this, we will open up the demonstration project. We will look at the 3D view. We will rotate it around so you see three-dimensional view of the project. And let's remove all of the existing wires so we can add them back in using the new feature. A quick way to remove wires, sections, table. Over on the far right, you can command to delete each section. In this case, we want to delete them all. So I'm going to simply right click on the delete and say copy and fill column. This is another relatively new feature. Click OK. All wires will be gone. If you're familiar with the traditional functions of stringing wire in PLS CAD, there was a sections add menu item. And with this function, you start at the beginning and scroll through each structure and selected how the wire was going to be strung to that structure or not to that structure. And it required you to sequentially follow the structures. The new feature called Sections Add Graphical is available now. With that, as you see, move your mouse around, you'll see it snap to any available structure. Now you still have to start on a dead end structure. You can't start stringing on a tangent structure. But if we want to start down here, uh, the substation, say for example, set number six, you'll see the six the highlights, shield wire one, shield wire two, and circuit six uh, for the substation structure. So if I want to start on six, I want to skip the tab, the tap structure, but I want to go to structure number one and go to set six. I could go to set number five on the other side, but I'll stay on set six. Now, if I want to skip number two, skip number three, and go to number four, I could have it stringed to set six on structure number four. Then I could go back to two to set number six. And then I could go to three and terminate on that dead end structure number three, set six. Now, you notice there's a little warning that popped up in the lower right down there. You can keep stringing. So I can go to 5 and go to 6 and go to structure 6 and go to 16 and then go to uh, 6 ahead and then maybe I'll stay at 6 the rest of the way through here and let's just skip 9 for the fun of it and I'm going to terminate on set number 6 on structure number 10. I'll click on OK, hit the enter button or middle click enter button or middle click and that will let the program know that you're done stringing and we're going to get an issue here that says hey we got this out of order issue that's fine and there's a lot of options in here I'm not going to go through each one of these right now but one of them that defaults on is to connect all intermediate structures for this example I'm going to turn this off and down here uh, in the bottom I'm going to complete the information about all that cable that I just strung so for this example I'm just going to choose a default Drake ACSR conductor. Uh, let's choose a voltage of 345. Wires per phase of 1. Initial, let's make an assumption, is 60 degrees average temperature for the stringing. Um, <clears throat> the horizontal tension, if you leave it on zero, it will automatically sag it. You'll notice up here in the uh, information bar it says set tension to zero to auto sag. So unless you know the tension, just leave that on zero. We probably want to display the wire underneath a maximum operating condition, maximum sag, since we don't know which case is going to control the sag. All the other wires will match that, so you don't have to fill out each one of those sections of wires. I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. And uh, switching to multiple alignment views, that's great. And you will now see the wire that is strung out of order. So you don't have to have the structure sequentially. Uh, you can go from different sections to different sections and uh, kind of go from there. The graphical stringing function also works in a profile view. So if we were to, let's just say, undo our wire adding. So we're back to our just structures. And if I were to open up the profile view and we were to do a sections add graphical you will now see all your structures in a profile view so you can go from set six to six again we could skip over having fun we could jump around different structures I could go to set five and then go to uh, set five and uh, uh, set five and then maybe go to six at the end again just illustrating um, how anything can be done uh, with your order and uh, yes they're not in order um, that's okay <coughs> And so with that in mind, I'm going to click OK. And you will now see, now it looks kind of funny in a profile view because your wire is not following the profile, but it's zigzagging all through the project. Now probably another more realistic example that this could be used, again, I'll undo the wire adding, 
is to simply go in here and do sections, add graphical. I'm going to start at set 6 on the substation. I'm going to go to set number 6 on the transmission at the very end. Hit the enter key. And I'm going to check this option that I turned off a while ago to make connections to all intermediate structures. And I'm going to say set 6 here. I'm going to say different attachment set uh, in case you did use uh, set 16 or whatever on the back side. I'm going to click OK. And you will now see all your wires automatically get strung up along the order. So now we could sit here and say, well, let's go to 5. And I'm going to go to set number uh, 15 on the back side of that one. Hit the Enter key. And we'll stay, this one might be, for example, be a Kiwi ACSR. And I'll make it a 345 as well. And uh, uh, 60 and 0. And display weather case, maximum operating, maximum sag. And that should take care of it. And there we go. We have our other circuit strung on our line as well. So completing this up, we can string our wires very quickly. All right, let's see how this new feature can be used on a real project. So let's look at a distribution example project here. And as you know, distribution systems can be quite complex with the wires going many different directions between many different structures. So we're going to zoom in down here in the lower left. And we're going to use this new feature to string in this last section of distribution wire through these structures. So I'm going to do a sections, add graphical. I'm going to start on the structure on the far right. I'm going to go to the pen tops on that structure, the pen tops on the next structure, and finally I'm going to terminate on set number three on the last structure. Get a warning there, okay to string out of order. And we populate our table, make sure you mo connections in all intermediate structures are skipped. I'm going to use a penguin, 12 kV, wires per phase um, of one, initial 60. We're going to string our distribution with a max sag of 120 degrees Fahrenheit underneath the maximum sag rolling span conditions here. here. And we'll make our conductors blue. And we now have our wires strung in 3D. Once you've got your wires strung, you may want to make some modifications. For example, I can see that between these two spans here, my wires are crossing. So I would like to fix that crossing of phases right there. So I'm going to go to the right structure, and I'm going to do a sections swap attachments. And I'm going to grab that insulator and swap it with the one on the near side. And that will swap out the insulators. And now you will see that the phases are not rolled through that span. The swap attachments also allows you to remove wire from a particular structure. So for example, I didn't want the wire to string through this middle structure. Sections, swap attachments, grab the wire, drag it to the ground. If you drag it to the ground and let go, you will now skip the structure that you wanted to do that. So if you wanted to add the wires back up there, you could do that in a similar fashion. Well, that hopefully covers the new add graphical function. We encourage you to try it out. And uh, you may be more comfortable with the traditional ad on a long linear project, but if you've got lots of wires crossing in many different directions, we think you'll find a sections ad graphical very helpful, and especially on the distribution projects that you will be working on. If you'd like to learn more information about our software, you can see our website at www.powline.com. If you'd like some information about our software, you can contact us directly at info at powline.com. And finally, if you would like to purchase our software, you can contact our sales team directly at sales at powline.com. We look forward to hearing from you soon.